Consta four. Yeah, that's and the win. What's what are the thoughts going through your head right now? I mean, I don't really know what to think right now. It's just all kind of happened really fast. You know, just I was trying to hang out with that front pack. I got stuck a little in there in the beginning, but I slowly made my way up. In the last two laps, I was like, I saw the time. I had like 59 seconds to close. I wanted to break it, and I just, I just went for it because I'm like, I'm not gonna go home disappointed. What time? At what point in the race did it change from breaking four to winning the race? The last, the last straight, honestly, or the last like 100 because I just wanted to break four. But as soon as I saw those guys coming back a little bit, I was closing up. I was like, might as well just try and go for the win here. Just what was going through your mind as you're passing guys like Robbie Andrews and Ryan Hill. I mean. <laughs> It's kind of crazy to think that I'm like up with them right now, but I don't know. It's just surreal, honestly. Probably a lot of high school kids watching you come to a meet like this. I mean, you're up against pros and college kids. So, I mean, what's going through your mind as you're warming up and in the on the starting line, looking to your left and right, seeing these guys older than you? Honestly, I didn't even look at the entries before I came to this race. So I was just like, I just want to do the best that I can. It doesn't matter who's in there. It's just what I want to do. What's the magic at Newberry Park? Um, we all don't put barriers. You know, it's like, in order to run fast, you can't set barriers. Like, sub four, like, that's been a barrier for, like, most high school kids, like, a lot of um, elite high school kids. But if you don't think of that as a barrier and you just want to, like, put it all out there, then that's what happens. Tell us about Sean. Oh, oh he's, he's amazing. He's he's taught us all to put, like, barriers about his side and not listen to the outside noise. And just, like, doesn't matter what people say, just do you and you'll be the best runner that you can be. Did you see what your teammates did in the 3000? Yeah, I mean... I was in the waiting room and I was just listening to the times coming and I was like, that is amazing. Like Lex one second off his brother's national record and Aaron is three seconds behind him. It's amazing. How do you celebrate something like this? I don't know, maybe just go like scootering around New York City, who knows? Uh, just just spend it with my teammates, that's for sure. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you.